this is the adaline neural network at first you need to initialize the weight and select the learning rate now for each neuron find the target output that is what is what is the output of the, your data set then find the neuron input that is the output of the neuron y in is equals to b that is the bias and the summation of input times the weight is sum of all the weight is step 4 stop if the maximum changes in the weight across all the sample is less than the tolerance otherwise repeat so you need to find out the tolerance that is the minimum change in the weight is neuron input neuron input is the y in is equals to b plus summation of all the xi plus wi xi is the input wi is the weight is so what is the wi new wi new is equals to wi old plus alpha times t minus y times x t is the target output y is the your output and alpha is the learning rate alpha is the learning rate t is the target output of the neuron y is the optin output x is the input to the model now what is the b new b new is the new weight of the bias don't be confused with the b new and the bias input bias input is always one b old weight of the bias old weight of the bias plus alpha times t minus y see here there is no input of the bias since the b is always one now there is a question construct a function for a adenine neuron x1 and x2 are the two inputs that is the two and gate two input and gate one and one and the negative zero is represented by the negative one when one and one is the input target output is one when one and zero that is minus one is minus one bias is always one initial condition for the neuron b let's suppose x1 and x2 are the input b is the bias and i am supposing that the weight is, is the 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 suppose the initial weight is 0 0.1 running the first case the input 1 and 1 should give the output 1 so the output should be output is b times 0 0.1 plus b times 0 0.1 plus x times 0 0.1 plus x2 times 0 0.1 so 0 0.3 but the target output was 1 we got 0 0.3 now using the delta rule now we need to change the weight is b is equals to b old plus alpha times t minus o that is target output minus we, what we obtained 0 0.1 was the old out old weight is plus learning rate is 0 0.1 t is the target one was the target how we got 0 0.3 so the result is 0 0.17 similarly we find the new weight that is for the w1 w1 is equals to w old plus alpha t minus o times x1 x1 is the input so x1 is the one and alpha times t minus o is similar to this component so it, we can add 0 0.07 directly as well similarly we find the w2 now we create a new neuron with a new weighted 0 0.017 0 0.17 0 0.17 now the input is one comma minus one and the output is minus one so now we repeat all these processes for and obtain the new output that the output obtained is 0 0.17 the expected output is minus one again using the delta rule we obtain the weight is of the bias weight w1 and the w2 and then we use the third training data set again and we use that third third data set in order to change change the weight is so new weight is was found 0 0.053 0 0.053 0 0.287 from the above and now the input and the expected output is used again to change this now after the using the fourth training data set we obtain the same re next results and you can calculate these all those things these are similar and once the all the training data set of your is completed it is called as the epoch one so this is our data set so one comma one this is the one data set second data set third and the fourth data set once the all the repetition of this training of the data set is completed this is called the one epoch and we in second epoch we perform we repeat the same operation and we repeat the same data set so we again start from the one comma one one comma one and one and we repeat these operations and we got the new data set so 
I did for the next um, drum as well so I got this data 0 0.13457 so we will continue this process until the change in the weight is less than some small number let's suppose the change in the weight is 0 0.01 then if the changes in the weight is less than 0 0.01 then we stop or you can check the accuracy by using the expected output and the real output to determine to when to stop so thank you guys and i will keep the pdf version of this note in the link description below so thank you